video for, I'm going to quickly try to um, reassemble my green stalks that I took down for the hurricane approaching and the high winds. Oh, we were afraid it they would just get toppled and a huge mess. So, Tonto's over there, keeping a watchful eye. And look at this Beatrice eggplant. I, definitely this is a keeper eggplant for me. It's done really well here. Much better than my Black Beauty. And these guys are all just a mess and on the ground. And I'm going to quickly put them back together and then I'll take a picture. Alright, it's the next day and I'm much more alert. I uh, was able to get some sleep last night. And I was just exhausted yesterday afternoon when I started this video, and it was late, getting close to dinner time. Um, but I had to come out here this morning, finish the green stalks, and I want to show you a surprise I found in one of them. And an important reason, maybe everyone needs to check on their green stalks um, each level, maybe a few times a year. So, um... I'm really, really glad that last night I had that break that I needed to go cook dinner and then it just got dark because I left the top three levels of the green stalk here on the ground and well, I had found a slug in this fifth layer last night and I threw him into the woods and so I came out tonight, or sorry, today and I was like, um... I'm going to check again before I try to put everything back together. I'm just going to check because if there's one slug, I bet there's more than one slug. And when I took this off this morning, a little bit ago, whoop, there he is. He's moved to the other side now. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to leave these three on the ground at least for maybe a week. And I'm going to check every day to see if I have any more slugs. And that guy will get thrown into the woods as well. Fix that later. So I went through and I kind of added a little compost, cleaned things up, reseeded a lot of the little seeds that uh, did not germinate well, or actually I think they, some are dampened off or eaten by the slugs. You can see where the um, swallowtails had eaten all of this parsley. They are relocated. And hopefully the parsley will start to grow again, which is pretty much perennial here. This one, I didn't do a whole lot to. I just added some small pea um, seeds, some dwarf pea seeds. I think they're called Little Crunch. Because I don't want to take out this dwarf tomato plant yet. He has um, some, some tomatoes. I think there's three I counted earlier. And then my eggplant is still looking nice and producing. And I was going to maybe take out this uh, sweet pepper, banana pepper. But then when I had it on the ground, I was able to look at it really close. There are actually some baby buds up there. So I'm going to leave this for a little bit because I don't think we're going to have a frost maybe until the end of the month. So those are the green stalks. I would like to get one more. Maybe Black Friday. They'll have a great deal. A uh, quick look at the backyard. Uh, I'm not really doing a tour of the backyard. There's Tonto. But um, just a quick little look because everything's a mess. I'm going to donate these to a friend, some um, runners that I cut and put in there. Just a quick little look because it is a mess. These peppers will come out, and I'm going to put spinach in these boxes, except for this habanada. Look at that. It is loaded, and I decided, or discovered, this is my first time growing these guys from seed. I don't even like them that much. I don't really like the flavor. Um, my oldest son, it made him gag. He said it tasted like Play-Doh. He has an aversion to crayons and Play-Doh. Um, Oh, they just kind of have an odd taste to me, but I have eaten many. I have, and I've given away a lot, and these will get donated if I choose not to eat them. 
and I wanted to bring some of these peppers in and overwinter them but because we may have to put the house on the uh, market it's probably not a great idea to have a bunch of dead looking plants in your garage and I, I didn't do really well last year with my overwintering um, for a lot of different reasons the only thing that survived was my lemon verbena peppers did not and the one eggplant I tried to overwinter did not lots of mess back here I'm still cleaning up from the hurricane winds so um, that's what's going on and I also need to get a lot of these guys moved inside for winter like this dragon fruit this is my daughter's dragon fruit and just a bunch of random stuff up there too that is in transition and a mess uh, some more plants there need to go inside my ginger I'm taking in so that's it I may do another backyard tour eventually um, see where did Tonto go oh he's hiding back there I'll zoom in on him and then I will end this video hey Tonto what you hear back there buddy we have so many deer that come through daily, twice daily, pretty much all day long. And they just walk right along my fence. And they have no fear of dogs, no fear of people. So, there you go, buddy. Talk to you soon.